Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you guys how to add pagination to your LiveWare components, so let's get into it. Alright, so right here I have a simple to-do list application where you have the ability to add any to-do you like, add it to the project, and it gets added to the top and you can check and uncheck it. So very simple stuff. However, I don't have any pagination and I want to add pagination. So how can we go about doing that in LiveWire? Well, let's take a look. So in our code base, we have the main two files, which is our blade file and our component PHP file, right? So I'm going to walk you guys through what we have here. So our component has two main methods, add to do and toggle to do, which I just showed you guys the use case for them. I'm not going to show you guys the implementation because that's not really important. What's important is the render file, right? The render function where we are loading our blade file and we're passing in to do's, right? So this is going to be basically all our to-dos. And what I'm doing is I'm just calling the to-do model and I'm getting all of them, right? So that's it. Very simple code, nothing complex about it and no pagination. And if we take a look at our blade file, this I'm using a bootstrap template here. So the first part is just adding a to-do and this next section where you can see we have a for each loop. I'm looping through all of the to-dos and I'm displaying them, right? So you don't need to worry about how it's displayed. That's kind of irrelevant in this case, right? You have something similar on your own project. So you may be displaying comments or posts, whatever you like. So may, our main concern is to add pagination. So let's get into that. All right, the first step is I'm going to change the part where we're getting all the to-dos. And instead of get, I'm going to say paginate. This is a eloquent function and it will basically implement a pagination for you. And inside here, we can pass in how many items per page. So I want five to-dos per page, and I'm going to pass that in. Now, if you go back on our uh, website and I reload, we can see that it's actually working, right? It is actually showing only five items per page. However, we don't have any buttons to go back and forth. So how can we add that? Well, let's go back to our code base. I'm going to open our blade file. And here we can so write a simple blade code which is going to be to do's dot links. And if you have previously worked with pagination on the regular Laravel, right? Vanilla Laravel, you can notice that it's actually similar to how you do it there. So we just write this down and this is going to add our pagination buttons and links. So I'm going to reload the page and voila, we get the buttons. However, we can see it looks kind of broken, right? Why is that happening? So the reason for that is I'm using Bootstrap and by default, LiveWire ships with Tailwind. So if you know I were to use a Tailwind project, it would look great right out of the box. But because I'm using Bootstrap, it looks kind of broken. So if you're using Bootstrap, you need to watch the rest of the video. All right, so in order to make the, pro the pagination work with Bootstrap, we need to add two more additional lines of code. So I'm going to add them here. First of all, we need to use a trait called with pagination. Actually, if you're using Tailwind, you still need to include this. This is a must. And I'll tell you guys why in a second. So I'm going to do with pagination. It's a simple trait by LiveWare. And then for guys using Bootstrap, so this last line is only for Bootstrap people, add pagination team Bootstrap. And this is going to tell Tailwind, sorry, LiveWare to use Bootstrap over Tailwind. So let's save our code, go back, reload, and voila. We have a nice looking pagination. We can go to different pages and it's not going to reload the page. If you guys pay attention at the top, it's not actually reloading the page and it works fantastically. Now, I told you guys to include this trait. And the reason you need to include this trait is if you don't include it, you won't be able to, well, first of all, it's not going to work for Bootstrap guys, but it actually reloads the page without this trait. So this trait is really important to ensure your page uh, isn't reloaded. So always include it and that's it. You have a working pagination, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments what else you want me to cover. So if you guys want me to show you guys how to use a custom template or create your own custom paginations, leave them in the comments and I will make a video for that. Have a great day. See you guys. Peace.